what was the biggest lesson you learned by going through this endeavor in, in this book, Kurt? You know, I, I think, first of all, the, the big thing is everybody handles it differently. You know, I, I bring up Chiraldi because he's the one that's gotten the most response. Because the 1986 World Series, everybody goes back to Bo Buckner and that ball going through his legs. Mm -hmm. Because we've seen that play a million times. But if you go back to that series, and and people tend to forget with history, the more time that gets in between it, what actually happened. And Boston led that game. In the eighth inning, they bring in Chiraldi. He blows a one-run lead. He's still in the game in the tenth inning. Gets the first two outs and then gives up three straight hits to blow a two-run lead. So that sets the Buckner play into motion. He loses game six. Goes into game seven the next night, or two nights later because they had a rain delay. Um, comes in in a 3-3 tie in the seventh inning. Gives up a home run to Ray Knight. Basically game over. He loses game six and seven. Mm-hmm. And he's a guy that we don't think about when we think of 86. Well, it bothered him. He only pitched in the majors four more years, retired at 29. Said mentally he couldn't handle it. The next year on the road was too tough for him with the fans, with the media. And that he, in his turn, put up these walls. Those walls transferred from being at the stadium to at home and affected his home life. And finally, he, as I said, retired in, uh, at the age of 29. Finally, 27 years later in 2013, his wife tells him, look, unless you go get help, we're essentially going to have to get a divorce. You're not the same guy I fell in love with. You're not the same guy you were before 86. And he admits that she was 100 percent right, that he was not involved in his kid's life. His father committed suicide right around that time, not because of 86. He had cancer. But he said that that showed him that he was on the same path his father was on because his father put up these walls and hadn't dealt with some things that had gone on in his life. So he started seeking therapy, but he ties it all back into not handling 1986 the right way. And again, he's a guy we don't think of at all, but he carried that burden because he felt he let down his Red Sox teammates. In his words, Bill Buckner's taken a lot of bleep that he shouldn't have. Uh, He felt he let down Red Sox Nation. And you're like, wow, to carry that burden for that long. It's Damn. amazing. It really is. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.